Welcome to the Worthy Bitch Podcast, the place where we discuss all things self-worth so we can stop living life as a victim and start living life on purpose. My name is Autumn. I'm your host and the creatrix of the Worthy Bitch. I am so excited that you have made the decision to embark on your Worthy Bitch journey. Now let's dive into ourselves. Nobody can knock me off my energy. Nobody has enough power over me to knock me off of the energy that I choose to hold. I'm the powerful one. I'm the one that is in control of my energy. That's why it's called my energy. It's the energy in me. And so if somebody else is having the effect of changing my energy, it's because I'm allowing it regardless, period end of conversation. (laughs) My energy is mine. I'm responsible for it. And absolutely nobody in this world has the power to push me into an energy that I do not want to be in. Not my friends, not my family, not my partner, no one. Because I choose to hold the energy that I want to hold because that is how I create my life. I'm not going to let anybody else get under my skin and start creating my life out of whatever it is that they have going on with them. And I'm not going to allow the thoughts that are in my mind about another person to make me feel any type of way because that is giving my power to them without like in like me creating a scenario that's not even real or replaying a scenario that happened in the past and holding myself there while judging it and criticizing it and blaming it on the other person when really I'm the one that's keeping my energy there. I refuse to do that. I refuse to be that person. That's not me. I'm powerful. I'm the one who is responsible for my energy. Therefore, it is my energy. Yeah, I'm not giving my power away. I create my life. I create my life from the grounded energy that I choose to call into my being. I am love. I feel joyful. I, I choose to be unconditional love. That means that regardless of how wild or crazy anybody else is acting, I choose to remain in like steady in my vibration of love because I'm not a conditional lover. I'm not a conditional lover with myself. I'm not a conditional lover with others. And I'm getting better and better about being unconditional every single day of my life. I can see it when it arises, when I'm being conditional and I choose to shift it. I choose to rewrite that story in my mind. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm so proud of myself for that. This is me taking my power into my own hands right now. Nobody has power over me. Nobody can control my thoughts. Nobody can control my feelings. So if I don't feel good about my thoughts and my feelings, then then it's my responsibility to control that situation, to change it, to make it what I want it to be. That's my job. That is my job as a human. That is my job as myself. I mean, I don't want anybody else to make me responsible for them, right? I do not want anybody else to be sitting, blaming their life on me without me even knowing it or making me responsible for the way that they feel when they feel terrible or something like that when I have absolutely nothing to do with the situation. I, I can't, I can't, no matter what I do, I can't fix that for them. They're choosing to feel that way. Only they can fix that. that I don't want to be the cause of that in anybody else's life and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that to anybody else. I'm not going to do the thing to somebody else that I don't want them to do to me. Does that make sense? It's because my energy is mine. (laughs) I recognize it for what it is and I'm grateful for that. Like, fuck yeah, my energy is mine. Thank God I recognized that so that way I can have that power over myself and stop playing like a victim. Thank God. I'm not a victim. 
I've been being a victim for a long time in my life because I didn't know any different. That's okay. I see it now. So I don't have to be that way anymore, right? It's my responsibility to recognize it and then to stop repeating the cycle, to stop allowing it to happen in my life. That's my responsibility. And thank God for that because I have that power because God gave me that power to consciously create my life in the way that I want it to look. God created me in the image of God, which is a creator. I'm a creator. I create my reality regardless of anything else that's going on. And knowing that makes me feel strong and knowing that makes me feel powerful and knowing that makes me feel happy and knowing that makes me feel excited for life and knowing that makes me feel grateful and knowing that allows me to love others even more because I am able to choose how I feel. I love myself. I choose to remain in the vibration of love. And when I see myself falling out of it, I choose to pull myself back as quickly as possible without condemning and judging because that's not my job. My job is not to judge and condemn and criticize and be hateful and angry. Those, those are all fine and dandy or whatever. If that's the way that you want to feel, then okay, by all means, feel what you want to feel, but I don't want to feel those things. I came here to be love, to share love, to receive love, period. That's it. I'm love. So when I recognize that I'm feeling or doing or being something other than that, then it's my responsibility with my intense power to shift it. Yes. Yes. Fuck yes. <laughs> like, yes. That gets me so hyped up and ready for life. That makes me so excited about getting up and going out every single day, regardless of where I'm going to be going or what I'm going to be doing or who I'm going to be seeing or any of it. I'm ready. Because nobody has power over me. Nobody can control what's going on inside of my being. Nobody can knock me off my horse. It's mine. Nobody can knock me off my energy. I will not allow it. I will not allow somebody else to have any of that power over me to the point where they can control the way that I feel. They can control the energy that's inside of my body without even like, they don't even know. No, (laughs) I will not allow it. Who has the power to control what I feel in the energy inside my body? Oh yeah, that would be uh, me. (laughs) Only me. Not a damn other soul. Me. Thank you, God, for making me that powerful to where I have full and complete power over myself and my life. Thank you. I am in beyond awe and gratitude and love for the blessings that I have received through this life. And I look forward to every single day that I get to wake up and do it again. Thank you, God. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, universe. I love you. And if you loved this episode, don't forget to subscribe and rate and share with a friend who needs to hear it. Also, I would love if you could leave me a review on iTunes and take a screenshot and email it over to me at theworthybitch at gmail.com. That's the worthy B period TCH at gmail.com. Link is in the show notes and I will send you a free gift of my 30 affirmations for the doshas that will assist you in your practice to find balance. And as always, I thank you so much for taking this time today to show up for yourself and do the work. Keep living life on purpose, my worthy bitches. 